Once upon a time, in a land brimming with wonders and magic, there lived a small, adorable monster named Glim. Glim was not like the scary monsters in the storybooks. He was fluffy, with bright blue fur, big, sparkling eyes, and a tail that shimmered like the night sky. Glim lived in the quaint village of Whimsydale, nestled deep in the enchanted forest. The village was a bustling place, full of friendly creatures of all shapes and sizes. Glim's family was known for their kindness and their beautiful garden, which was filled with flowers that glowed in the moonlight. Every day, Glim attended the Whimsydale School for magical creatures. He loved learning about spells, potion making, and the history of the magical world. His best friends were a tiny dragon named Ember, who could breathe out colorful flames, and a fairy named Lila, whose wings sparkled in the sunlight. One bright and cheerful afternoon, after a particularly exciting class about cloud shaping, Glim and his friends decided to take a new route home. They wandered through the sunlit forest, laughing and talking about their day. The path was lined with twinkling flowers and singing birds, and everything seemed perfectly peaceful. But as the sun began to set, Glim realized they had taken a wrong turn. The familiar sights of Whimsydale were nowhere to be found. Instead, they were surrounded by unfamiliar, towering trees and strange, whispering winds. Glim felt a flutter of worry in his heart. He had never been lost before. Guys, I think we're lost, Glim said, trying to keep the tremble out of his voice. Don't worry, Glim. We're together, and we'll find our way back. Ember said bravely, her scales glinting in the fading light. Lila fluttered up into the air, her wings casting soft glows. Let's think. We learned about the stars guiding travelers in our history class. Maybe we can use them to find our way. Glim nodded, feeling a bit better. They waited for the stars to appear, the forest growing darker around them. As the first stars twinkled to life, Lila pointed out the constellations they had learned about in school. That's the great bear, and there's the hunter, Lila said, her voice filled with excitement. And that means Whimsydale is that way, Glim exclaimed, his tail wagging with renewed hope. The trio started their journey back, guided by the stars and their own courage. As they walked, the forest seemed less scary and more enchanting. Fireflies danced around them, lighting their path, and a gentle breeze carried the sweet scent of night-blooming flowers. After what felt like hours, they finally saw the twinkling lights of Whimsydale. Glim's heart swelled with happiness and relief. They had made it back, safe and sound, thanks to their friendship and the lessons they had learned at school. As they entered the village, their families rushed to greet them, relieved and overjoyed. Glim's parents hugged him tightly, and he felt a warm sense of belonging. That night, as Glim lay in his bed, he thought about the adventure. He had been scared, but he had also felt brave and smart. He realized that even when you're lost, you can find your way back with a little help from your friends and the knowledge you carry inside you. And so, Glim drifted off to sleep, his dreams filled with starlit paths and magical forests, knowing that no matter where he went, he would always find his way home. The End